Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is your Aziza uh, from Grey Goose English Studio. Okay. I have got so many queries about tense. Now, today, guys, I'm going to take a full on class on tense. And if you attend the class top to bottom, I guarantee you will have no issues about tense from tomorrow. Because I'm going to discuss tense in the easiest manner today, right? You just follow me and trust me, just stick to me, top to bottom, and you wouldn't have any problem with your tense from tomorrow. Okay, let's start. Tense. Now see, tense. You can consider this tense is grandfather. This is grandfather. This grandfather has three sons. They are present, past, future. Right? Look, I keep that very simple for you people. Look, grandfather. Tense has three sons and they are present, past, future. Now see, each of them has got four sons. Present has got four sons and they are indefinite. Continuous. Perfect. Perfect continuous. Look. Now see, look. These four are the kids of present. And their names are present indefinite, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. So, present has got four sons and they are them. Now, see, at the same way, past has got four sons as well. And they are, look, past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. Right? Now, at the same way, guys, future this son has also got four sons and they are future indefinite, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Now see, this is a whole family. This is a whole family. Grandfather, three sons and their sons. So that's a whole family. Now, if you want to be very good at English, like tense is the very basic, right? And you have to be very, very sure that you're very good at tense, right? Especially when you write, right? You need to stick to damn tense, even when you're speaking. If you're very educated, you've got to be making those sentences in tense. So today I'm going to discuss in detail about this tense family. I hope, look, if you're having any difficulty understanding me what I'm saying, you can repeat the video and trust me, you'll definitely understand that. Again, I am Bangladeshi, but I just thought that I should be taking the entire class in English. But sometimes, you know, I also do take classes in Bengali, but I genuinely believe at the same time that while explaining things to you, the only language I should stick to is English because I want you people to understand my English and this way you improve your listening as well. Okay, let's start. I hope you have understood this so far. Then see, so it becomes present indefinite, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, past, past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Then future indefinite, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. Okay, now what I would do because See, I've got a small board, I couldn't manage the big one, and uh, very sorry about that, so I have to rub it off. We are doing tense, bear with me. So, look, you remember the first son, present indefinite. 
present indefinite. I will write that in short. That's the first son of present. So present indefinite. Now, let me give you a very simple example of present indefinite. So present indefinite tense means, look, I eat rice. That's the most simple sentence you can ever find as an example of present indefinite tense. See, I eat rice. Very simple. Look, I eat rice. Now see what you do. I eat rice. Present indefinite. Now see, I eat rice. That is a positive sentence. That is a positive sentence. Now, if I ask you to turn that into negative, it would be, I don't eat rice. Positive, negative. After that, I want you to turn that into, look, positive, negative, interrogative and it will be do i eat rice and then that would be a question mark at the end of it okay last one negative interrogative it'd be don't i eat rice now here again a question mark now see this is positive this says negative this says interrogative and this is negative interrogative now see what i'm doing i'm turning this first family member first son which is present indefinite and a perfect example of that would be i eat rice then what i'm doing I'm converting this sentence into three other different forms of sentences and they are positive, negative, interrogative, negative, interrogative. Guys, you, if you want to be fluent and if you want to be speaking with proper grammar, you need to know these things. So it becomes positive, negative, interrogative, negative, interrogative. Now, guys, I want you to practice this way. Look, I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? Positive, negative, interrogative, and negative interrogative. I hope you understand that. I eat rice. Now, you can carry on with me. Carry on with me. I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? Now, you bear I eat rice in memory. And quickly, I go to the second son. And that is... Present, continuous. Now see, continuous. I eat rice. If you convert that to present continuous, it would be I am eating rice. Now see, I am eating rice. If you turn that into negative, it would be I am not eating rice. Rice. Now, the short form or the contraction of am not would be ain't. You know, British people, when British people make this sentence, they sound like this. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't eating rice. So that's why we sometimes got problems like with, the, with accent, with British accent. We've got accent issues sometimes, yeah? So I am eating rice. I am not eating rice. So the contraction would be I ain't eating rice and then interrogative am i eating rice i put a question mark and after that negative interrogative that would be ain't i eating rice now see you remember present indefinite one Let's have a revision quick. I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? Then it's turn for Mr. Present Continuous. I am eating rice. I ain't eating rice. Interrogative am I eating rice? Negative interrogative ain't I eating rice? Next, 
going to the third sun. I will rub you off since I've just said that I got a very tiny boat, and that's why I could arrange you. Present perfect, guys. That's a very very important sun of present tense. Okay, present perfect. So I e rise. If you turn that into present perfect, I have eaten rice. I see. I have eaten rice a while ago. I have eaten rice a while ago, and I'm stuffed. My stomach is full, and I cannot eat any more. Let's see. I have eaten rice. Turn that negative. I haven't eaten rice. Interrogate if, as we've been doing. Uh, have I eaten rice? Question mark. Last. Negative interrogative. Haven't I eaten rice? So it goes like this. I have eaten rice. Negative. I haven't eaten rice. Interrogative. Have I eaten rice? Negative interrogative. Haven't I eaten rice? Done. Now, I am going to the fourth son of Mr. Present. It would be present perfect continuous. Now, guys, present perfect continuous means, look, I started a job before and still I do continue with that. See, for example, I started talking to you 10 minutes back and still I am doing it. So that means I started a job before and still I continue with that. So I have been talking to you people for 10 minutes. I see. I would still stick to I eat rice. So that's going to be I have been eating rice. Negative. I haven't been eaten rice as usual interrogative have i been eaten rice finally negative interrogative haven't i been eaten rice now see Let's revise very fast. You remember the first one, present, present indefinite? I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? And then present continuous. I am eating rice. I ain't eating rice. Am I eating rice? Ain't I eating rice? Present perfect. I have eaten rice. I haven't eaten rice. Have I eaten rice? Haven't I eaten rice? Present perfect continuous. I have been eating rice. I haven't been eating rice. Have I been eating rice? Haven't I been eating rice? Present family is done. Now see, guys, I know you might have a little bit of difficulty because I can't really go back and forth because I have been rubbing things off. So if you've got any confusion, you quickly go back and check. Now see. I want you to practice this way. Now listen to me. I want you to be doing this ultimately. Listen to me. Look, focus. I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? I am eating rice. I ain't eating rice. Am I eating rice? Ain't I eating rice? I have eaten rice. I haven't eaten rice. Have I eaten rice? Haven't I eaten rice? I have been eating rice. I haven't been eating rice. Have I been eating rice? Haven't I been eating rice? If possible. Try and say the whole thing in one breath. No, not possible. Okay, anyway, done. Present family is done. Now, guys, as I have said, as I have said, 
Next family would be past, and then obviously it's going to be first one, past indefinite. Now see, guys, as I've said, past has got four sons, past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Guys, I am only going to discuss the first two, and I'm not going to discuss the later two. You know why? You can ask me why. Because in modern English, past perfect and past perfect continuous tense is not often used. So I would skip them for the time being because actually I believe that it's not always necessary to be used in a sentence in past perfect or past perfect continuous. So I'm just going to discuss the first two, two forms first. Okay. So first one, past indefinite, very simple. Again, if you bear that I eat rice in mind, I eat rice in mind, past tense. I ate rice. Turn that negative. I didn't eat rice. Now I've turned it negative. Now listen. Didn't. Most of us, we do pronounce this didn't. But guys, when you pronounce that, you pronounce it this way. Didn't. Now, I'm not saying this is correct. This is incorrect. But when you pronounce that for pronunciation, you got to pronounce it. I didn't. So I ate rice. I didn't eat rice. Interrogative. Didn't. Did I eat rice? Interrogative. And the last one. Didn't I eat rice? So the first son of Mr. Past is down. So it becomes I ate rice. I didn't eat rice. Did I eat rice? Didn't I eat rice? Okay. Next son. Past, continuous, continuous, guys. Now, same. If you bear, I eat rice, turn that into past continuous. I was eating rice. It is like, in the past, I was doing something. So, yesterday, by this time, I was eating rice. So, I was eating rice. Now, turn that negative. I wasn't eating rice. And then, interrogate as usual. Was I eating rice? And then, negative interrogative. Wasn't I eaten rice. That's it. Done. Look, I was eating rice. I wasn't eating rice. Was I eating rice? Wasn't I eating rice? Done. I said, next one is obviously past perfect and past perfect continuous. Guys, these two sons don't really get out of house most often. They are a little sick nowadays. So we are not going to discuss anything about them. Okay. And the explanation is the next two forms, past, 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 perfect, continuous. We don't really use them too often, especially in modern English. So I would skip them for today. For today. And some other time we will discuss that. Okay. So the last one. The last sum, which is. Future, first future indefinite, future indefinite, very simple, I shall eat rice. Now, I'll tell you what, in modern English, we don't really use shall. But again, because I, I, I studied in England and I found those who are gentlemen and those who love to stick to typical grammar, still in today's time after I, these people use shall. So I shall. So shall, I personally believe that shall is very graceful so whenever you use shall in a sentence like I shall go to Dhaka. I shall do it, right? But again, most of the people I would say in today's time after I, they use well. Let's see. I... I would still, since I'm teaching grammar, I will stick to shall. I shall eat rice. 
That's in future. Tomorrow, I shall eat rice. Turn that negative. I shall not. Short form would be. Is it like this? Not sure. I don't practice grammar often. Shall not. Shan't. I guess. Yeah, okay. I shan't eat rice. Interrogative. Shall I eat rice? And shan't I eat rice. Now, see. I shall eat rice. I shan't eat rice. Shall I eat rice? Shan't I eat rice? Now, see. If you don't want to use shall, you can use will. It's not a problem. In that case, it will be I will eat rice. I won't won't eat rice. Will I eat rice? Won't I eat rice? So both are fine in today's time. Okay. Last one. Very last. Future continuous. Now see, guys. Future continuous. I shall be eating rice. It would be like in future, you would keep on doing something. So that would be a continuous process, right? Going on in the future. So I shall be eating rice. Now turn that negative, what we have been doing. I shan't be eating rice. Then, shall I be eating rice? Then, shan't I be eating rice? Guys, if you want to replace shall with will in here, that will be I will be eating rice, I won't be eating rice, will I be eating rice, won't I be eating rice. Again, two other sons of Mr. Future, Future Perfect and Future Perfect Continuous Tense, they are not used. I tell you that, guys, very, very confidently, especially when we speak in English, we don't use these two sons of Mr. Future and last two sons of Mr. Past. We don't use them. So I'm going to skip them for the time being. If you want to have a fight with me that some of you might say like they are still used in today's time, we would fight later. But for the time being, I wouldn't discuss them. So, so far we have discussed, look, tense, three sons, present, past, future. I have discussed four sons of present, two sons of past, and two sons of future. Now let's discuss. Let's finalize that and revise that for the last time. You remember present, indefinite. I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? Present continuous. I am eating rice. I ain't eating rice. Am I eating rice? Ain't I eating rice? Present perfect. I have eaten rice, I haven't eaten rice, have I eaten rice, haven't I eaten rice. Present perfect continuous, I have been eating rice, I haven't been eating rice, have I been eating rice, haven't I been eating rice. Past indefinite tense, first son of past tense, past indefinite, I ate rice, I didn't eat rice, did I eat rice, didn't I eat rice. Now, past continuous. I was eating rice, I wasn't eating rice, was I eating rice, wasn't I eating rice. Future indefinite. I I will use uh, will, will, it's okay. Uh, okay. I will eat rice, I won't eat rice, will I eat rice, won't I eat rice. And then last one, future continuous. I will be eating rice, I won't be eating rice, will I be eating rice, won't I be eating rice. Now, I have already taken the class on tense. Now, what I want you to do, look, tense, you know, sometimes we teachers, being teachers, we discuss the format, 
like how it would be subject plus verb plus this and that guys tense i want you people to practice in such a way so that you hold them always in your heart and i want you finally once you are done with all your preparation i want you to be doing like this now look at me that would be the end of the class now i want you exactly to do like this look at me focus here i go I eat rice. I don't eat rice. Do I eat rice? Don't I eat rice? I am eating rice. I ain't eating rice. Am I eating rice? Ain't I eating rice? I have eaten rice. I haven't eaten rice. Have I eaten rice? Haven't I eaten rice? I have been eating rice. I haven't been eating rice. Have I been eating rice? Haven't I been eating rice? I ate rice. I didn't eat rice. Did I eat rice? Didn't I eat rice? I was eating rice. I wasn't eating rice. Was I eating rice? Wasn't I eating rice? I shall eat rice. I shan't eat rice. Shall I eat rice? Shan't I eat rice? I shall be eating rice. I shan't be eating rice. Shall I be eating rice? Shan't I be eating rice? So once you are able to do like this, trust me, you would find tense has been, this entire family has been lollipop to you. Now guys, grammar is so very important. Now see guys, if you watch this video once and you feel like you haven't understood much, trust me, you watch it for 10, 15 times and try and practice the way I have told you to practice. And I want you people to be absolutely fluent like this. I want you to be able to talk about the entire family in 30 seconds, literally. And trust me, you're going to be a boss of tense. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I hope you understood. I want you people to subscribe my channel, to share your honest comments, please, in here. And, uh, yeah, if you believe it wasn't very good, also do write that for me. So I'll catch you up with some more videos in future. Until then, bye-bye, stay tuned. Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. If you feel your English is okay, and I mean your English is not that bad, and obviously you're desperate to seven plus maps scoring IELTS, then I'm going to start up a fresh new batch on the 28th of June, which is right after two days. And if you believe you're okay with your English, you're desperate to hit seven plus, then this batch is for you. For any query, you can call on the given number. Thank you very much.